going on guys? Didn't know if I was going to video this or not, but I think I am. We just drove the drag through like this really, really thin, packed full of snow trail to get to this uh, dog sledding venture. Uh, Cold Fire Creek dog sledding. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to try to get some on video and put it up on the channel. And uh, I guess come along with us on the dog sledding journey today. I just still can't believe we had to go through that. Like, I should have got that on camera. Maybe we'll get it on the way back. I got some pictures, but yeah. So here's to, uh, here's to dog sledding. All right, guys, we're going back on the trail. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We got a, like an hour to kill, so. Alright, on our way back, we made these tracks going in here. Oh, and she's a little slick. It's not terribly deep, but still. There's some spots that dip down decently far. Look at that view. like a winter wonderland down here. Now they say to wear eyeglasses or goggles because the dogs kick up snow into your eyes. So I'm not gonna wear my expensive glasses. I'll be wearing something like this, but ideally I should have brought some goggles. There's the puppies. It's uh, we're all suited up. Snow pants on, jacket, boots, two pairs of socks. Ashley's all suited up. We gotta go sign some COVID papers. And then hopefully on our way in a little bit. It's chilly out here though. The wind. We made this decision like last minute. And uh, we got our snow pants from Amazon. And they're not really snow pants, they're like waterproof pants, so I'm really, really crossing my fingers that it's uh, not too cold out there. Um, but I am wearing some thick sweats underneath, so uh, I guess here's to hoping. Ash is just filling out the COVID papers behind me. I thought she was gonna bring them in, but uh, I guess she's not, so. We'll just chill in here. Looks like they're unloading the dogs and the sleds right now. And I think there's one more party with us today, so. I will find out. Looks like they're on the other side, eh? Oh, there's some. And this is dog sledding. So surreal the views you see out here with these wonderful animals. Excuse my glove. It's not the warmest out here. Ashley is now piloting as you probably all are aware. She was looking at us. I think we're good.
picking up some speed. We're moving now and I'm getting s snow flicked in my face. Apparently there's a loop up here and she said it's a really good time to film so she said people drift out of here and it's semi-dangerous so I trust my wife and her driving skills she won't kill me maybe Woo! oh s curve wow yeah it's picking up speed here on brakes That was, that was quick. Hey guys, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the footage of uh, the dog's butts and us in the sled. Um, it was an experience, that's for sure, and it's a, it was a great experience. Uh, I think it cost 450 bucks, and it was Cold Fire Creek dog sledding. Doesn't really roll off the tongue that easy, but um, that's what it's called and highly, highly recommend it. It was an experience that um, I didn't really know what to expect going into it. And when they're sitting there telling you how to operate the sled and operate the dogs, ultimately, you're not in control, the dogs are in control. So you have to kind of veer them the way you want. And uh, right off the get-go, I was, you know, I'm, I'm all for a challenge and all for fun. But they take off. And it's like zero to 60, hypothetically, in like two seconds. It's, you know, zero to 100, so to speak. So it uh, gets your heart racing a bit. But after that first, like, you know, 50 feet, you feel way more in control. And uh, it was great. Ashley drove a bit, which I didn't expect that she was going to. But they stop along the trail and they say switch drivers if you want to switch drivers. And foot on the brake is a must so if you're not a uh, brakey person well, you're gonna have to be because you stop a lot and you have to throw the anchor down and smush the anchor in the pack snow and you always 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 have to keep your foot on the brake and one hand on the bar so yeah great experience um, I hope you all enjoyed it I didn't know if I was going to film it but I am sure glad I did because the views are unreal and obviously we can't have the camera out the whole time because you're trying to control the dogs. You're trying to take in nature. Uh, we were riding right beside streams that were just melting. We were riding beside canyons. Um, a lot of that we didn't end up getting on camera, but I'm sure you guys uh, can put two and two together. You're in the middle of, of a mountain valley, essentially, with untouched snow everywhere. So uh, very, very picturesque, if you will. But um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and think about subscribing. All right? Peace, everybody.